Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with nothing but rookies, including limiting ourselves to four men and including um, permanent dark events. Quite a few of them are on the board already and in order to not get chrysalids on each mission going forward, I suppose we want to fight against uh, Codex, at least one heavy mech. Couple of elite somethings, uh, Sector Pot, Elite Purifier, Archon, and a lot of uh, Losts. That's the team we're going to go in with. XQ6 and Slicinator might get their rank 3. We got Aaron and Jarangs with the big guns, Flex flexing those muscles uh, in order to get this going. Alright. Cool, so this should be straightforward. It's a protect the uh, device mission, which means if I do not play super hyper aggressively and just rush forward, we're potentially going to lose this. It's going to be a fun experience to play a good old protect the device mission from time to time. God, I hate these missions, but there were only bad options, so we ended up with this one. Here we go. Let's rock. Good, we have landed. Let's see, there's some nice high ground here. But boy, that is far away. The further it's away, the more difficult for us to get there in time. I get that slight sensational feeling that we might not even have a chance to uh, to save the device. Good, so. Let's do this. Let's charge in as far as we can, really. Okay. That is 46 hit points. As long as the small enemies like the Codex are taking shots, that's okay. All of the triggered packs can theoretically take shots and equally one non one enemy out of one non-triggered pack can also take shots. So this here, if we explode all of this, there would be some catastrophic extra damage. You know what? Let's just do it. Effort. Let's go. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> the enemy still has problems to even register that we're coming. Okay, listen, um, that was fun. I think we'll need to finish the mech here. Very good. Excuse six. For six, yep, let's get those losses down. Just cleaning up the flank here, really. Neutralized. Neutralized. 
and the Archon. Two four six, yep, that's a good shot. Go for it. Okay, where is the next cover? If we move over here, we can take this one as cover, which isn't bad. The other alternative is this, into this, into this, which isn't bad either. Given that this is our last move, I don't want to risk pulling another pack. We have so cleanly fought these uh, off. Alright, so 38 hit points left, and we gotta deal with this pack soon, very soon. The name of the game here really is going to be triggering the pots, pulling them towards us and hopefully dealing enough damage to destroy them. Good, is this triggering? It's not. Hmm. It's a bit of an issue. Good, free reload. Yeah, this might ex this might take out this whole section here. Okay, giving up the high ground. Mm, this might be a faceless one sitting too calmly there. Moving up. Gotta get over here next. aggressive push forward okay, well that triggered them finally okay let's use this here as a uh, Diversion strategy and secondly Let's use the lost <clears throat> to our advantage So far so good we're still at 38 hit points Problem is the last non-triggered pack is the one with a sector port. And a sector port typically is the one taking shots at the protect the device. I called it. He was sitting way too calm there.
Very good. That's a lot of damage which we absorbed. Thirty-eight points left. Surprised to see that none of them give a shit about the losses, and they rather focus on the device. And there's only so much you can do if that happens. It's a big problem of the protect your device missions. I can play as well as I want. If the enemies are just continuing to focus on the device, then really nothing is going to uh, change. They can zerk it down much faster than I could kill all of them. We don't have the damage output. There is the sector pod. Getting a few love taps here and there. Good movement here so that we will flank. Yeah, that's not uh, happening, but I can tell you what is happening. This here is hitting everyone back there, and it will deal an astronomical amount of damage. Very, very nice. Thankfully, we got the heavy weapons with us. Got you... And got a few others as well. Well, before we go on, got a second mimic beacon, right? Right. Moving, on target location. Moving further in. If we move closer, we're going to pull everyone and that we can't afford at this point I think it's a good time to pause and reload and with that get the immediate threats out of the way A2, okay. I think it's a good time for a double strike here. Nice little execution. That even saved us the double strike. And look guys, we're taking... Two to three of them off the plate every single round. There is only so much more I can do. Can't really reach him. If we go into close, it's going to be a problem. I don't want to waste the last Mimic Beacon. I only got one of these guys left. Full cover and we're going to crawl our way over here. Overwatch wouldn't really have helped because of line of sight. It's potentially going to be Seeker missiles. Yeah, not a surprise. Twenty six hit points. Oh. 
Would it be possible that some of the lost, at least some of them, please attack the device? Eh, uh, not the device, uh, the enemies. Hell no, we don't want them to attack the device. Good, this should trigger the last pack. Let's get this heavy mech down. Armor still holding. We need damage and we need it now. That's the name of the game here. Free reload. Fifty-fifty. Look, there isn't that much more to shoot. Might as well. Repeater. What well, we've definitely got a couple of nice options here let's get that elite trooper out of the way 80 percent shot straight up missed but they are already locked in for the enemy might as well give them a bit of diversion, trying to save the device at all costs. Good, well, at least it did not shoot the device. Holy macaroni. Kill that trooper, please. Trooper is in one shot range. Quite there yet. Closing on target position now. Time for that sector port to bite the dust. Hit the armor. Weapons empty, can engage. Nice massive strike. Come on, execute. Didn't happen. It's a lot of damage though. Uh, we're dealing phenomenal amount of damage against the sector pod. 
think we can't get it fully down. Can't get the guy down either. That's as far as we can go for now. 50-50, let's get that shield bearer, come on. Didn't work so well. 80% getting the trooper down. As long as it does not shoot the device, we're good. Hanging on by a thread here. Move away from the device, your explosion will kill it. Damn, Sectopod. Come on, just move away. It's not that difficult. What a close mission. That's a good hit. That's a very good hit. Good, we're going to risk it. Fuck it. Time to kill that sector pot. Time to finally and ultimately kill the sector pot. adjacent to him we might be able to get them with the explosion two four six eight yep that's a kill and that's another kill But the biggest problem here will be to get rid of most of the losses without failing the mission. And we gotta kill him now, and then we can't be overrun by them. There is a chance that we might be able to salvage this. It's a slim pickings, but might be it. Gotta take that chance.
Down to four hit points. Come on. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, that's a kill. That's not a kill. That's a kill. No longer a threat. Target eliminated. Kill confirmed. Trying to just get all of these guys off the field. Two, four. Six, eight, nine. That's a fifty fifty, uh, no, a sixty three percent chance. And another sixty three percent chance. But we made it. Fantastic. Good. Reload. Everything's good. Slicinator moves up into a flanking position, kills the shield bearer, eventually spawning an undead. And maybe breaking the game. Let me try to do that again. Good, and we're back. So, would kill him finally. And try to restore as much of uh, the situation as possible. It's unfortunate when the game goes down. It was the last one. So, naturally, this guy showed up. But we could move to here. As long as we just take 100% shots, that should still be fine. Trying to get the loot. Oh, that's 96%. Okay. Sorry, loot. It's not going to happen. Interesting. We can't really get there. Moving to designated position. Let's see if uh, we can at least soften them up a little bit. Good. That worked out well. Can't believe. Have we actually managed to survive this mission with one hit point on the device? Oh boy, and the whole thing was burning the entire time. Ah, wow. I wasn't even... I wasn't even daring to pay attention. Like, it had one hit point and... Oh boy, this was potentially the closest protect the device mission that I ever had, and I had a lot of close ones. Okay, so I think that was a successful run overall. We got ourselves zero loot, but we at least countered the infestation and got ourselves a couple of supplies again which we don't need but that wasn't bad not bad at all yeah we don't need more supplies we're good i think what we need is to go here and do the mission how would we do that at the moment okay diva and roby are ready that's fine Yeah, and we got a couple of others ready as well, so 
We're going to be good. Uh, that means this is the end of this uh, episode and we're jumping right into the next episode uh, where we're going to do a Golden Path mission. Trying to get that black side via coordinate mission done. Uh, that would allow us to also research a little bit more and then eventually take the entirety of Africa with it, complete uh, the Codex Brain and also the Avatar uh, kill there. Then we research the Avatar and then we're ready. That's the plan. That's the general plan of attack. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is super exciting. I'm pumped and motivated. Maybe we can get it to the last mission. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. Have a good one and see you in two missions uh, in two days. In two days. Bye bye.